Hello everybody, it's so good to see you. I have really enjoyed seeing the prints that you made. They were incredible. So many different lines, so many different colors, and so many of them, because you can print them more than once. This week, friends, we're going to talk about a scribble. A scribble is just like this. It's a line that goes all over the place. Scribble, scribble, scribble. And we're also going to talk about springtime and birds. Look at these beautiful birds. It's springtime, so you're going to see and hear more birds in their nests. So I thought what we could do is make a scribble nest. I made this nest by just scribbling. I think it looks just like a nest. Then you're going to paint your bird body and paint your bird wing. And then we're going to glue them together and put them on our nest. Just like that. So I'm wearing a smock today because we're going to get a little messy. I'm going to show you what we're going to do with our paint. So first, friends, I want you to take your bird. You're going to have watercolors. And you're going to have a brush. Now, if you don't have a smock, that's okay. Just make sure you wear something that you can get messy with. So I'm going to take my bird, and I'm going to paint it whatever colors I want. Because why? That's right. I'm the artist, and you're the artist too. So you can decide what colors you want to use when you're painting. So, started with red. I think I'm going to do some orange. I would like all of my friends out there to cover your whole bird with paint. And you can use as many colors as you'd like. Birds are pretty colorful, aren't they? Wow, there's a lot of colors. Now, friends, this is where it gets kind of fun. We're going to splatter our paint on our bird. So you're going to take some paint, get that on your brush, and I want you to tap, 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 tap. Let's do that again. I'm going to get a little bit of paint on my brush. I'm going to hold my brush like this, and I'm going to tap, 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 tap. It makes lots of little lines, or lots of little dots. It's really a fun way to paint. So when you finish your bird, you're going to set that aside so it can dry. And then I want you to use not just one, not just two. I'd like you to use three pencils to do your scribbles with. Isn't that wacky? It is. We're going to make a wacky nest. Take a look at that. Hold on to those three pencils and press. I'm going in circles. And I'm going all over my page. Look how many more lines I get when I use three pencils at a time. It's really fun and it sounds pretty great too, doesn't it? I like that sound. All right, friends. I've finished my nest. And when your bird is dry, let me take this one off here so I can get it a little bit closer. When your bird is dry, you're going to glue it right on top of your nest. Hi, spring bird. Welcome to springtime. And look how messy I got. Do you see the paint on my hands? I really like splattering paint. It's fun. But that's why I have my smock. So make sure if you don't have a smock, just wear something that you can get messy in. All right, friends. Enjoy making scribbles this week in art. I'll see you soon. Have fun making art. Bye-bye.